Hello and welcome to a new project. In this series, we are going to build a full application using Laravel 11, Inertia.js, and Vue.js. And we are going to build a listing application with many features including light and dark mode, user role, user profile, authentication, authorization, and advanced filtering. Now let's have a quick demo to what we are going to build. First, we will have dark and light mode and we will implement this using Tailwind CSS. We would also have an authentication in place with email verification and features like remember me and forgot password. So I'm going to register with a test user so we can see other parts of our application. When we press register, we will have this progress bar on top, which is done using Inertia.js and the user will receive an email so they can verify their account and they cannot access their dashboard if the account is not verified. So if I try to access my dashboard, I will see this message telling me I need to verify my email and I can also request a new email verification. We would also have a profile page for the users where they can update their name, their email, change their password, or delete their account completely. For instance, if I want to delete this account, I need to confirm my password and if I confirm that action then the user account and all their listings will be gone from our database. We would also have advanced filtering so we can filter our results by tags, by the user or by a search phrase and we can apply all these filters at the same time or remove a filter if we wanted to. And we would also have pagination. Now let's log in with a user so we can see a general user's abilities. In our project, our users will have one of the three roles. By default, they are all general users. We will have admin users and suspended users. And when a user verify their account, they would have the ability to create a new listing. And through creating this resource, we will learn about tags and how to sanitize these fields and also about image upload and how to handle different images that are not suitable for our project. For example, here I have selected an image which is greater than 3 megabyte and we don't accept that. So I can undo my action and select another image and that is acceptable. And we will have validations on all the forms and when a user creates a new listing, by default they will be disapproved and they will not show up on the home page. As you can see here, this user has three listings, but only one of them is approved. Therefore, we can only see that one on the home page and we can access the detailed page. A user would also have the ability to edit or delete their listing directly from their dashboard or by going to the detailed page and we will have authorization in place. So if a user doesn't own a particular listing, they would not be able to edit or delete it. Again, as an example, if we go to this listing created by the admin, we cannot see those links and we cannot access those pages. Let's say I want to update my listing so I can modify my listing the way I want and if I want to upload a new image, of course I can, but if I change my mind, I can undo the action to the default image and update my listing. As you can see, it is updated. And when a listing gets updated, it will be again disapproved. So an admin can take a look at it and approve that. Now let's log in with our admin user and see the admin's ability. So an admin would have all the abilities of a general user plus some extra ones. The first thing we notice is this lock icon in the navigation, which is only visible to the admin users and other roles cannot access this page. And on this page, the admin can see all the registered users and their role and their listings, whether they are approved or disapproved, and also visit a detailed page for each user and their listing. We would also have filters on admin dashboard and an admin can directly change a role of a user from this page. For instance, I want to suspend this test user. We can see the role of that user is changed and we can filter this result to see only the suspended users. If we visit any user's page, we will see their listings and whether or not they are approved. Again, we will have filters here to see only the disapproved listings and we can approve them from here directly or by going to the detailed page where we would have an admin section so we can approve or disapprove it from this page. Now, if we go back to the home page, we can see this user has one listing. Then if we go to the admin page and 
change the role of this user to suspended, then navigate back to the home page, we can see that listing is gone. Even though that listing is approved, we cannot see it because the user is suspended. And if we log in with that suspended user, the user would see a message informing them that their account has been suspended and they cannot create a new listing, they cannot see their listings and they can only update their profile. We would also have authorization, for example, if I try to access listing number one, which belongs to that suspended user, by manually modifying the URL, I would get unauthorized, of course. However, this is not the case for the admin users. If I log in again with my admin user and navigate to this user's page who is suspended, I can still view those listings and go to the details page. As you can see, the ID of this listing is one. However, we can see it because we are the admin user. So this is the project we are going to build and I hope you would enjoy this.